Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all, and this is another review. Man, I told you, there's a lot going on in hip-hop. A lot of people are feeling some type of way about Jay-Z choosing Kendrick Lamar over Lil Wayne to headline the Super Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana. There's really just a lot going on in hip-hop right now, and... Like, Kendrick Lamar, he, he just recently dropped a new song called Watch the Party Die. I was wanting to do my review on this song because Kendrick Lamar is one of those artists. Like, this is another song that he dropped on us by surprise. And, like, whenever Kendrick Lamar drops something new, everybody is prepared to listen because Not Like Us is still a big hit record. Out of all the diss tracks that Kendrick Lamar did on Drake, Not Like Us is the biggest hit record of all time. Now, I, I understand the reason why Meet the Grams wasn't really a hit record because in Meet the Grams, Kendrick Lamar got personal with Drake. Kendrick... I mean, the diss track Meet the Grams is, is, is much more disrespectful than Not Like Us because Kendrick Lamar got real personal on Meet the Grams. But anyway, I was wanting to do my review to Kendrick Lamar's new song, Watch the Party Die. My fellow Kendrick Lamar fans, my fellow K-Dot fans, my fellow Kung Fu Kenny fans, let's chat. Let's have a discussion about this. Have y'all already heard Kendrick Lamar's new song, Watch the Party Die? How y'all feeling about it? But here's my review. Kendrick Lamar had a lot to say in this record. I mean, yeah, Kendrick Lamar, he's hearing the people talk about the situation, about, about him, him performing at, at the Super Bowl over Lil Wayne in New Orleans, like, Kendrick Lamar really just had a lot to say on this song, I could tell that, like, he was, like, venting about a lot of stuff on this song, and some people are probably thinking that, that this song is, like, a Drake diss track, I mean, if you ask me, it's not really all that much of a Drake diss track, but I'm pretty sure with some of the lines that he was rapping, he was, like, addressing the Drake beef, but, other than that, Kendrick Lamar, he really just had a lot to say on this song. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the song Watch the Party Die, I'll give it like a 10 out of 10. I'll give it like a 100% because Kendrick Lamar, it just seems like he's really venting out his frustration. All the stuff that he went through in hip-hop this year, getting into a battle with Drake, doing a music video for the Not Like Us diss track where he did the music video in Compton, and he made sure that there was security and everything just to make sure nothing went down. But yeah, Kendrick Lamar has really made a lot of, mil a lot of big milestones in hip-hop this year. You know, I mean, the, the, the battle between him and Drake was, it was a pretty, it was a great moment for hip hop. It, it, it really was. I mean, but yeah, watch the party die. You know, I mean, it, this song by K. Dot, it's, it's really amazing. It, 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 it's, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing song. He has a lot to say and he's pretty much just venting out you know, like, you know, like his frustration with the media and with the music industry, you know, like, like the, like the situation and then the battle he got into with Drake. But yeah, Kendrick Lamar, like we need a lyricist like Kendrick Lamar when it comes down to mainstream hip hop. You know, I mean, Kendrick Lamar is, is somebody that we have to salute when it comes down to you know, doing everything that they can to keep lyricism alive in hip-hop. Now, like I stated before, Drake is not a lyricist, again, you know what I mean, because of the fact that Drake has a ghostwriter, but yeah, watch the party die. Kendrick had a lot to say. But yeah, again, my fellow Kendrick Lamar fans, my fellow, yeah, even the Drake fans, how do y'all feel? How do y'all feel about the song Watch the Party Die by Kendrick Lamar?
do y'all feel that it's a Drake diss track? Me personally, I don't. I, I don't feel that it's a diss track. I just feel that K Dot had a lot to say. He wanted to vent. He wanted to get out his frustration. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, and again, my new song, I Want to Get to Know You, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G, let's run it up, let's blow it up, love y'all.